Hey, what's up everyone? We are going to be looking at eight new coffees for this November, December, this year end coffee sensory training kit. So if you haven't checked out these kits before, I put together four different pairings. These are A, B samples so that we can look at uh, very scientifically, very specifically, grade differences, high grade, low grade, species differences, Arabica, Robusta, processing differences, washed and natural processed, and roasting differences, a light roast and a dark roast. Now you've experienced a lot of coffees before, maybe this is just a great way to calibrate and to update your testing, tasting skills. And if not, uh, it's a great place to start because we all need a good benchmark. Now, these two coffees that I have in front of me right now, these are our grades. Uh, we are looking at two grade levels. One is a very high grade El Salvador Finca dry uh, natural, dry natural process. And it's very tart. It's like berries and raspberry, rhubarb, tartness. And when I put the water on, the aroma became very whiny, like a Pinot Noir kind of wine. And then the second one, this grade two, now this is a low grade, it's gonna be a commercial because it's a Vietnam uh, coffee, a Vietnam Delat coffee that is a Robusta. Now, I put two, two Robustas in this kit, normally I just do one. You can go to the grocery store and get a cheap can of Folgers or whatever the grocery store coffee is, and you can do this, uh, but this Robusta is going to be very much like a roasted grain, barley, malty, kind of musty. And so it's just gonna have a flat character that will be true of commercial coffees. However, when I put the water on this, this uh, that was the dry fragrance, the water, the aromatics, really became like a sweet molasses cookie. Really smelled quite nice. All right, time to break these coffees. Now, if you order this kit, something that I've put into the kits are a couple of cupping spoons. And so you can get a black and a rainbow rock how-to coffee pro cupping spoon. These are also on sale. If you'll notice, there are really nice little uh, handle bags, perfect for Christmas, perfect for your team, perfect for customer appreciation. So don't miss out, you gotta get those. So the berries and the tartness on this really came out in a, you can, you can feel the dry natural, that uh, kind of funky, fruity, uh, aged fruit coming off of the aromas there. Yeah, very uh, pungent, earthy, kind of musty. All right, so these are our graded, grade coffees, grade one and grade two. Now I'm gonna grab the species one and species two, we're gonna talk about the fragrance real quick on those. So the species one is our El Salvador Finca Mira, Miravales, and it's a Pacamara. This is a beautiful coffee. I've cupped it, I brewed it for the family. Immediately, even my daughter said this, drinking it black. It was like cherry and cranberry, this tart, tart red fruit. If you can think of like fruit and tart red, you're gonna find that coffee. It's a Finca Miravales Pacamara. Now, that's a great comparison to the grade here because we, we have an El Salvador dry natural, Finca San Luis, and so you can compare to El Salvador's different processing methods. And then the second one on our species, so the El Salvador, with that cherry, apple, cranberry, you're gonna have a Robusta Java Gambon, and that's an Indonesian classic earthy, spicy, leather, pungent fragrance. We're gonna jump in next with the aroma. After we cut these, we're gonna have those ready to go and we'll talk about them in the next clip. All right, part two, we have in the back here, they are brewing, we have our species, the El Salvador Pacamara washed and then a Robusta Java Gambo. And so this El Salvador Pacamara, it had it started with that cherry, apple, cranberry, kind of a tart red uh, fragrance. Well, brewing it, it really turned into like this green apple herbal spice. And then the second one, our Robusta Java Gambon, it just continued to be very pungent and leathery, just very much, yeah, kind of a 
a bitter pungent leather smell, like a fresh leather jacket. Now, uh, on these grades, we're gonna taste these here. The first one is an El Salvador Dry Natural. So again, if you get this kit, you can compare El Salvador Dry to El Salvador Wash. It's a really great comparison. Real syrupy, really sweet. That kind of berry, raspberry, rhubarb, just this long lingering sweetness, really syrupy, heavy body. That is a really sweet, juicy, uh, juicy. I guess we could say juicy. It's just so, so much body that I almost want to say syrupy, not juicy. Now, super bitter. It's like eating, eating a handful of dried fruit and then moving to really dark, bitter chocolate like cocoa nibs, like super dark chocolate. Not a bad, not a bad taste at all. Actually, the two of them go really well together. It's like raspberries and dark chocolate. So this is the Dalat Vietnam. Now what you're gonna notice between the grades is you're gonna notice, you know, this is just like all coffee flavor, very bitter. You know, it's something that people would put milk into, sugar in, and it would stand up really nice, like a commercial coffee should. But this one, you you really don't want to put anything in this. It's like, it's just so good. All right, so we're at four minutes and we're gonna go ahead and break here. We have our El Salvador washed in the back for our species one and then our Robusta Java Gambon species Robusta in the back. So Arabica versus Robusta. Yeah, just that green herbal fresh. Uh, just really high, bright uh, aromas. And that Java Gambong is just, Gambong is a good word. It's just like bong, bong, bong. There's this base, you know, this depth. And uh, you just feel the two coffees. This one is, the El Salvador is light and fresh. And this one is heavy and dark, you know. So uh, both coffees are fresh in terms of, fresh age, but just this uh, lightness versus this heaviness. So these are the first four coffees. I'll go ahead and taste and review back and we'll get the next four coffees right up. All right, this is the final part, final four coffees in our eight coffee series. This, if you're just tuning in, this is for our November, December coffee sensory training kit. And that is where we take eight coffees and put them in an AB comparison grade, species, processing, and roast level so that you can start to or continue to uh, just recognize those differences. What are some of those key characteristics? Coffee is always changing. It's always good for us to calibrate. And so right now on the table, we have our next four. Those are uh, Ethiopia Guji washed coffee, Ethiopia Guji natural process, dry coffee, and two Colombian Alto Occidentes. One is light roasted, one is medium dark roasted. And so we're going to see the processing distinction stand out in these Ethiopia Gujis, the roast characteristics stand out in the Colombian coffee. Now, I'm not going to go into all the details of cupping and all of the information that could be shared. Check out my other YouTube videos. I have a whole host of those at sca.training as well. You will find the cupping kits, the whole curriculum to introduction foundation, inter Mediate and professional specialty coffee association courses. So check those out. I have an email list, the sca.training, howtocoffeepro.com, and a YouTube channel. So my goal is to equip you, to educate you, just to give you one more bump in your learning journey. And if you have any questions about this, just reach out to me. We'll have a one on one, we'll talk about what you're experiencing. These coffees are a few days off of the roast. I wanted to wait a few days because it usually takes a few days to get to you. Coffee is always, you know, it's it's uh, maturing in the bag after the roast, it's oxidizing, it's changing, and your brewing setup, your water, everything will be a little different. So don't be discouraged if you get slightly different notes. And if you like these cupping spoons, we have uh, some really nice holiday ready, heavy Ziploc, hang them. You can get uh, How To Coffee Pro spoons. We have the rainbow and the black in stock so check those out we also have custom spoons so if you want to get a custom gift for your customers or team 
check that out at sca.training. All right, these are just about ready to break. I wanted to say though real quick, the Ethiopia washed is just classic Guji, green apple, herbal, sweet, mint, kind of like a pear almost, like a tart, uh, sour pear. Ethiopia natural Guji, super sweet, strawberry, vanilla, watermelon. You also get that off of the cup, this kind of herbal uh, fresh cup and this like deep, sweet, fruity cup. Now the roast level, Columbia light roast is very, again, herbal, apple, walnut, and the dark roast is, it becomes roasty, spicy, like roasted almond, even maybe black cherry or dark chocolate. So those are the roast characteristics coming out for this same Colombian coffee. A great variety of coffees. We have two washed and naturals. Uh, we have the El Salvador pair. We have the Ethiopia pair. We have two Robustas you can compare, and we have lots of different um, origins and roast levels. All right, so breaking these and then getting into the cupping. I'll see you in one minute. All right, was that one minute? I don't know, but these are beautiful coffees. Now, these Ethiopian beans, if you look at them, uh, they're very, very small. Sometimes Ethiopian beans are small, these are very small. And I can feel that in this washed coffee. It's a very light body, very, very light body. Um, but it's also just really herbal and fresh and light and clean. And I love that in Ethiopia. You know, you can drink it, you can drink a few cups and it just feels, it continues to feel great. It doesn't overwhelm you. Now, the cool thing about processing comparison is how the body changes. And we actually use a lot of natural processed coffees for our espresso blends because they add that extra body and just a lot more sugary, syrupy sweetness that you just sense, you know, kind of a, a different type of acid. There is acidity in this. It's just not as pronounced. And so very nice comparison there on the processing levels. Now with the roasting, this is a, this is a really nice comparison as well. Just kind of that green apple, more acidic, herbal, uh, brighter coffee on the light roasted Colombian. And it turns, it just turns a little bitter and uh, darker and drier, you know, from that roasting. You're really tasting the roast there. So again, a great comparison of eight coffees. We have our El Salvador Finca Pacamara that's washed compared to the Robusta Java. You're gonna feel this difference of the cleanness and the brightness and the sweetness and the body. You know, that heavy, dense body, leathery character of the Robusta compared to that kind of green apple, walnut, clean cup of the El Salvador. On our coffee grades, our El Salvador Finca Luis Dry Natural compared to the Vietnamese Dalat Robusta. So on that one, you're going to feel very much the El Salvador Dry Natural is like this tart cherry, you know, uh, berries, raspberry, syrupy sweet and just smooth like syrup on your tongue. Whereas the Dalat Vietnam is just dark and bitter, like dark chocolate and roasted grain. A striking comparison on those two. Processing, we just talked about that. Ethiopia wash versus Guji. You should really notice how processing changes the body, changes the character of the sugars and acidity, and then the roasting, of course. Now, again, if you want to check out these coffees, there's a limited quantity. I always try to restock, but this video might you know, it might have two or three new coffees in the kit, so you get to hear about these and look at something else. Really hope you have a chance to enjoy these coffees. Get your spoons, great holiday gift, uh, something to do with your friends over the Thanksgiving or Christmas holiday. Can't wait to see you again in the next video. 